Hey there and welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will solve an advanced SQL entry question. The gist of the question is to detect back-to-back -back login from a given table. So we have to identify the users who logged into the same app multiple times with less than a 30 minute gap between logout and next login. That is the question. For that, we have created a table that is the app usage log. Let us query the table and see the schema. So here is the table with log id user id app name login time logout time and device and based on this table we have to find the users who logged in in the same app multiple time with less than a 30 minute gap between logout and next login so for the question we have to make use of the column user id app name login time logout time and device so all the columns we have to make use in order to get the required output the expected output for the question will be 101 that will be the expected output and we have to obtain user id 101 from the input table how we can find that we will see when we write the query and and how to crack the logic we will see using the table created in the excel so here is the same table created where we have the same data so we have a log id user id app name login time and logout time with respect to each log id user id and app name also the corresponding device that particular user id is using now from this table we have to identify what is the next login with respect to each user id for a particular app and for a particular device and we have to create a new column based on the login time column then we have to compare the login time column with the logout time column that is the next login time should be compared with the logout time and find the difference between that next login and logout time and see if that difference is within the 30 minute interval so we will find another column that is the next login column then we will find another column which is the difference between next login that is the next login and logout time that is the next column that we are going to find and finally we will filter this result in order to get the output where the difference between the next login time and logout time is less than 30 minutes for a particular user and we will obtain the user id from the result that we obtain now let us go back to ssms and see how we can write the query to obtain the output in the similar format which i have explained so on to the same select clause we are going to add one new column that is the column based on which we are going to get the next login time with respect to an app name device and a user id so we will use the function lead open and close parenthesis and the first argument will be the column based on which we are going to apply the lead function so here it will be login time that is login underscore time that is the first column and the offset will be one now second argument or the second expression with respect to lead will be an over close over open and close parenthesis now we have to write the partition close that is partition by user id the first column will be user id then it should be based on app name then it should be based on device and now we have to write an order by close that is order by should be based on login time login underscore time which should be in descending order sorry which should be in ascending order and this column we will name as next login next underscore login now execute and we will get the first column which is required that is the next login time with respect to each user id app name and device so here we have the next login with respect to the particular partition which we have specified within the lead function now we have to find another column where we are going to find the difference between logout time and next login so the first result we will place inside a cte that is with login as the cte is named as login open and close parenthesis now we are going to write a query on the cte that we have obtained that is select from the cte login and all columns from the login cte we require comma and now we are going to write an expression based on the logout time and next login for that we will use the function date diff date diff open and close parenthesis first argument will be the interval so here we have to find the difference between logout time and next login in minute so argument will be minute comma then it will be start time and next it will be end time so the start time will be logout time logout underscore time 
and the end time will be next login meaning next login with respect to that user app name and the device that is the next login so in the function we have to specify that as the third argument which will compare itself with the second argument that is the logout time and give us the difference in minute as the column will be named as difference between diff between logout and next login logout next login that is the column that we have obtained now execute this query and we will be able to see another new column created that is the difference between next login and logout here we have obtained two output the first will be 15 minutes and the another output will be 35 minutes corresponding to user id 102 the first will be corresponding to user id 101 app name will be chat master and device will be android now from this result which we have obtained we have to find the records that satisfy the given condition in the question that is identify users who logged into the same app multiple time with less than a 30 minute gap between logout and next login so here we have to write a where clause that is where copy the same function copy it paste it in the where clause should be less than 30 minute execute and we will get record only for which that particular condition is satisfied now in the final result we only require user id so in that case we have to write a distinct over the user id column in order to get the output or else we will place this query also inside a cte for better understanding so this query we will name as app user then as open and close parenthesis select distinct users it is user underscore id comma from the cte app underscore users here we don't require comma we will remove the comma now execute and we will get the user id here user id will be 101 so the only user who is logging into a particular app in the same device with a time difference less than 30 minutes is user id 101 and no other user is having that particular condition satisfied this is the query based on which we can get the output the ddl and dml to create the table will be available in the description there are also multiple methods to solve the same question if you have some interesting method please comment the method it will be useful for others as well also you can try one more question on the same database which i have listed here device switch detection so the gist of the question is device switch detection and the question is to list users who use the same app on more than one device in a single day that is the question you can try solving this question on the same database and let me know the query in the comment section if you solve the question if you like this video check out our channel for more interesting video and more advanced sql and review questions thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you